Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever Edge of Extinction art tutorial. This is the artist Nick Haji Alice and I'm working alongside writer and creator Steve Scarra. You can find Edge of Extinction issue 1 on comicsology.com. This page is actually from issue 2 and it's displaying the new moon suit that I designed. Um, I was getting a little bit tired of the old suits and I thought it would be a pretty cool change for issue 2. What I like to do once I establish a, a line drawing is block in colors and values and try to distinguish where the light source is coming from. In this example, the sun is on the back left side and the earth is on the back right side. And the sun is the primary light source, obviously, and the earth is acting like a secondary um, bounce lights source. Uh, the moon has some atmosphere, but it's not like the general earth moon or earth sky sun um, lighting scenario you see on earth where the sun is coming from one direction and the sky is coming from above creating a cool um, secondary light source so I have to fudge the secondary light source on the shadow side a little bit um, so that the figure reads better um, pretty much once I get my values down I'm just detailing 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 the entire time um, I'm using the liquify tool to make sure my proportions are correct and I'm pushing the paint around to kind of get everything blended and nice looking. Um, I use a pretty simple color palette for the moon scenes because the moon is primarily gray so um, I tinted a cooler color and that lets me um, hit warmer lights on the figures and make them pop more. So I like to flip my layers on and off. I have my line layer on top of my um, painting layer um, and I usually either just paint underneath and completely delete the line layer or merge the two eventually. Um, the cool thing that I'm doing now is I like to lock my layers and this lets me use color modes on top of the layers without having to worry about clipping masks or painting outside the lines or anything like that. So I'm using overlays and color dodges to kind of hit those really hot um, highlights on his helmet and um, also the sort of atmosphere around the earth behind him using more liquify here. Just cleaning up the edges right now, making sure everything is popping. Um, I also like to keep a black and white layer above all of my paintings. I just turned that on now and it lets me easily see the values. The figure is the most important part so he needs to really pop and stand out in front of the rest of the painting. Um, I create a little lens flare on top of his lights, on top of his helmet, um, you know, a little sci-fi effect looks pretty cool I'm adding the cut, cut marks into his armor and um, right there I was creating some sort of bounce light so if you figure the sun is hitting the moon it's reflecting sort of a cool light um, from the moon's surface onto his suit If this figure were to be standing on grass, for example, and the sun was hitting it, um, underneath his suit where it, the light was bouncing to would be um, toned slightly green. Right here, it kind of looked like um, his hand was missing and the scene was a little boring without it, so I added another hand on the uh, left side to add some drama to the image. Using a lasso is a pretty good way to paint inside the lines and keep everything clean. Um, and I just did that with the whole panel. And right now I'm really touching up his face. I come back to his face a bunch of times throughout the piece because um, it's the you know, most important part of the scene. His expression is crucial to making sure the panel is interesting. Just 
just touching up uh, details, making sure everything looks nice and polished before finishing it off. Adding some atmospheric perspective in the background. Um, like I said, the moon has some atmosphere, but I want to push that a little bit more so the figure pops out and it's getting pretty close to finishing up. And here's the final piece. Um, please follow us on Facebook and um, I'll attach a link to the Facebook page as well as a link to the Comixology page so you can check out issue one. Um, thanks for watching and um, we appreciate all the following you guys have been doing on, on uh, Facebook. Um, thanks again. Bye.